don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I'm your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Samuel Owusu's move to Saudi Arabian club. Yes, there were so many rumors going around that he would be going joining either PSG or Marseille. But he has finally joined the Saudi Arabia club. I'll be giving you more details on that. Sonny Akuba has returned to training for Kumasi Asante Kotoko ahead of the CAF Champions League second leg versus Kano Peles at the Babayara Sports Stadium. I'll be giving you more details on that. He has also gotten a contract extension for the Porcupine Warriors and also the under 20 side. Yes, an illness has hit the squad and Coach Yapreko is giving us an update on their recovery so far. As usual, if you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, jump right into it. And we all know Samuel Lowusu was tipped to join either PSG or Marseille. I, res I reported as much. Those were the rumors going around. Unfortunately, he has signed for a Saudi Arabia club. I don't know if it's fortunate for us or unfortunate for him, but he decided to join the Saudi Arabia side. And, and it's quite interesting why he made that U10, where PSG begs the question, were PSG and Marseille really interested in him in the first place? Yes, we have to ask a lot of questions, but Slack Stars winger, he made his debut for the Black Stars in the AFCON 2019. He has joined Saudi Arabian side Al Fajia FC. Now the player signed a three-year deal with his new club after ending his stay at Serbian club Kukariki. The 23-year-old was linked with a move to Paris Saint-Germain and Marseille in the past few months. Al Fajia announced on Monday that the player has joined the Saudi Arabian side. Now Samuel also played in his first ever AFCON for Ghana in the AFCON 2019. He impressed a little bit and that piqued the interest of reportedly PSG and Marseille. Begs the question, were they really interested in him and what do you think about this move for Samuel Uso. Is it the best move possible for him? Your thoughts are welcome in the comments box on this. So these are the pictures here. Samuel Uso completing the deal with his Saudi Arabia side Al Fahia FC. So Samuel Uso, that's the latest on him. I move on to my next story and it has to do with Songe Yakuba. Yes, I brought you a story last week about Yakuba arriving in the country to have contract talks with his club Kumasi Asante Kotoko pertaining to his future and all that happy to announce if you're a Kotoko fan that Yakuba has signed a contract extension with Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Now we all know Kotoko are preparing for their game with Kano Peles at the Babayara Sports Stadium this weekend. This is a, is a must win encounter that will mean progression to the next phase of the Cup Champions League. Now Kotoko lost the first leg 3-2. Yakuba was not part of the team but he has now landed in the country and signed a contract extension with the Porcupine Warriors. Now Song Yakuba has agreed to sign a contract extension with Kumase Asante Kotoko. Now the Burkina Bay forward agreed to extend his contract with the club after a few months of uncertainty. Now representatives of the former star Malian striker have been holding talks with the club since the player's arrival last week. His contract with Asante Kotoko will aspire in April 2020. He was linked with a move to several clubs in Africa, including Orlando Pirates, Al Hilal, Zesco United, and in Kana FC. Now, Yakuba netted two goals with five assists in the CAF Confederations Cup last season. He missed Kumasi Asante Kotoko's first match in the CAF Champions League against Kano Peles in Nigeria. So, that is the latest on Sonia Yakuba. He will be a porcupine warrior for the foreseeable future. Your thoughts on that? If you're a Kumasi Asante Kotoko fan, are you excited by the news of Yakuba returning to? Kumasi Asante Kotoko with a contract extension. Do you think Kotoko need him? Kotoko signed George Abege recently and he got some backlash after he failed to score against Kano Peles. I think it's a little bit premature to be expecting so much from Abege. But do you think Sonia Yakuba will add some bite to this Kumasi Asante Kotoko attack? What will he add? I know he was great in the CAF Confederations Cup, but do you think he's the same player from last season? Your thoughts are welcome in the comments box i move on to my next story it has to do with the ghana under 20 side yes we all know they are taking part in the all africa games in rabat morocco now the under 20 side have been hit with an illness after their first game they beat burundi under 20 
two one yeah they got the first three points and we'll be looking to secure all three points again against senegal that will mean qualification to the next round that game will be played tomorrow at 4 p.m gmt now unfortunately you couldn't get footage for you on that game but hopefully this second game we might get something for you to watch but the coach of the ghana under 20 side has revealed that his team are suffering and recovering now from a bug that hit the, the squad ahead of their game with senegal and the ghana under 20 coach yao preko is hoping his players will overcome a sickness bug that has hit the majority of his key players in the ongoing all africa games in morocco now according to the coach four of the players are seeking medical treatment to determine if they can be fit for wednesday's game now the black satellites won their first game 2-1 against burundi in a highly competitive game played on saturday now i would do tahiro of mediama emerged as a hero with a brace for ghana and that secured the three points for the black satellites according to yao preko it was difficult game for his most of his players including the goal scorer tahiru as most of them had been playing through pains now four of our players have been sick with malaria including the assistant coach one of them could not even dress because his case was serious the medical team is working tirelessly to help them the players are determined to succeed so they can give their all in the opening game although some of them were going through pains even Tahiro, who scored two goals, was complaining of headache and some pains he added. Ghana will take on Senegal in their second group game and seek to make it to the last for its eight countries that are taking part in this under 20 football tournament in Rabat, Morocco. But that hopefully the Ghana under 20 side will recover in time and get ready, get back in shape, and face Senegal tomorrow. Your thoughts on the Ghana under 20 side are welcome. Were you convinced by that 2 1 win? I don't know if any of you watched the game, but let me know your thoughts on this in the comments box. And we hope they get better soon. Not great to have them so sick before a big game against Senegal. But your thoughts are welcome in the comments box. The Ghana under 20 side versus Senegal. Let me know your predictions in the comments box. I move on to my final story, and it has to do with Coach Selas Tete. A lot of people have been asking, where is Selas Tete? Why is he not being named as a Black Stars? A coach and all that but Selas Tete is set to be named as a Sierra Leone manager yeah you heard me right coach Selas Tete will be named and unveiled as the Sierra Leone manager very soon now Ghana coach Selas Tete will be unveiled as the head coach of the Sierra Leone national team on Tuesday August 20th as today now the country's football association has confirmed he will be unveiled along with his backroom staff at a press conference which will take place in Sierra Leone Football Association Secretariat in Kenton. Tete got the job after beating other shortlisted competitors including Horan Stefanovic, Peter Butler, Hassin Jabari and John Kester. But news arrived shortly after his appointment at the Sierra Leone Sports Ministry did not recognize him as a national team trainer claiming that the selection process did not come to a logical conclusion and was incomplete. However, the FA has rejected the claims and will unveil him to the general public. 62-year-old Selas Tete is returning for a second spell with the Leone Stars after a temporary appointment in 2014 and is expected to resume on Thursday. His first match at the helm will be a World Cup 2022 preliminary first round qualifier game against Liberia in September. The first leg would take place in Monrovia before both sides face off in the reverse fixture. The games are expected to be held on September 2nd to 10th. The encounters will indicate Sierra Leone's return to international football after their ban for government interference was lifted by FIFA in June. And that was the reason why Ghana automatically qualified to the AFCON 2019. Ghana along with Kenya in the same group automatically qualified for the AFCON 2019. Sierra Leone were banned by FIFA and Cup. So that has been it for today. I've been bringing you news on Sonia Akuba, Kumasi Asante Kotoko. He is back with them, signed a contract extension. Samolusu has moved to a Saudi Arabian size Al Fahia FC, and also Selas Tete to be unveiled as head coach of Sierra Leone. Your thoughts on everything, and our prayers go out to the Ghana under 20 side. But before I go, I'll leave you with a goal over the weekend. 
by Ghanaian player Isa. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. On behalf of the football family of Sierra Leone, on behalf of the Republic of Sierra Leone, we congratulate you and we unveil you our national head coach.